Hello, welcome to Revelator John. What forces act upon a helicopter rotor blade in flight? Well, as the airflow uh, flows over the rotor blade itself, now remembering that the rotor blades are powered by the uh, engine or engines on the helicopter through the main rotor gearbox, uh, through vertical shaft, uh, up to the uh, rotor blades which actually cause the rotation. So uh, as the blades are rotating through the air that generates the airflow over the blades and thus creates the uh, lift. So remembering the lift is perpendicular to the airflow itself so in essence pointing vertically up. Now we have the weight of the blade itself, uh, the mass of the blade, uh, but the blades are attached to the uh, main rotor hub and in essence to the whole fuselage, the whole helicopter. So we would consider the whole mass of the helicopter, including the mass of the blades itself, um, and then gravity acting upon that mass uh, it will create a weight which points directly towards the center of the earth. So um, the lift uh, overcomes the weight of the not only the blade but also the uh, aircraft itself or the whole helicopter itself. So as uh, the uh, blades are rotating uh, they are generating a rotor thrust now as that forward motion of the blade but they're also producing aerodynamic drag so the thrust uh, required uh, by the blades um, and these this this thrust itself is primarily produced by the uh, engine driving uh, the blades around that overcomes the uh, drag of the of the blades itself now once we want to actually get the aircraft moving the helicopter moving either to lift up into a hover or to vertically climb or to move forward or fly left or right then we have to generate a rotor thrust over the main rotor which can actually essentially pull the helicopter in whichever direction we want it to go so the so we have the lift which uh, overcomes the weight and then thrust overcomes the drag. When all the blades are uh, rotating and then when enough lift has been created to overcome the weight of the aircraft, then as the aircraft starts to lift up, then all the rotor thrust is, all the blade thrust is combined to create a rotor thrust or total rotor thrust. So if we're climbing vertically up, then that rotor thrust is pointing directly up and uh, perpendicular to the what is called the tip path plane, and it will pull the aircraft up. Uh, if we want to uh, create forward motion, then that total rotor thrust is actually inclined forward, and it will start to have a vertical component, but also a horizontal component, which will start to pull the aircraft forward. If total, if the rotor thrust pointing vertically is not increased, then what will happen as we convert vertical to horizontal rotor thrust to get the aircraft moving forward, then we'll actually start to descend as well. So we need to increase that rotor thrust. So these are the forces acting upon uh, a rotor blade or helicopter rotor blade uh, in flight. We'll have the lift, weight, drag and thrust and then obviously we'll have the combined effect of total rotor thrust to actually get the aircraft or get the helicopter moving in whichever direction we need it to be. Thank you.